Okay, we have Tommy Hamilton and Nicky Malone practicing on court number three in Greystones prior to their Floodlit League final in County early. Wicklow. Colm O'Malloy is waiting patiently for the players to get their act together and move on because kickoff is at a quarter past eight. And Connor Woods, Woods team captain, he was playing, is saying to himself, I've done an awful lot to get them this far. If only I had a chance to show my total talent. ESB are on their way, we're told. What time they're going to get here at, the, at, what, at what stage, we really don't know. And then it takes them some time to warm up the lights. And, and, how, and, how, and how much and did then you get from the <laughs> And then when the lights are warmed up, then it takes some time to wait to warm the players up. And then when they play the first set and the second set, and then we're into the third set. Can the interviewer get a word in here, Tom? Out, out of here by, well, let's say midnight anyway. Well, I, I, Dr. Malone, may, may we have a comment on the vital match here between young Nicholas Malone and uh, Michael Nugent? Well, they're only just warming themselves up now, just as, because the lights have just warmed themselves up. So when they've warmed themselves up and the lights have warmed themselves up, they get on with the game, then we, we'll have a result from the middle court, which and who, is, uh, who, near the end of the first set now. Who would you favour, though, in that very tight rubber? Very tight rubber, very tight rubber. I don't know, it'll be, uh, it depends. It depends, it'll be uh, all the way. Experience against uh, promise? Useful, uh, uh, yeah. well, it's, it's the non respect for experience uh, versus uh, the experience <laughs> playing youth, I suppose. I don't know. I'd just like to thank you for your comments, and you, you were very, very illuminating. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to guide you out there. Captain, our uh, supremo in the airline stakes. Definitely. And Kevin McAvoy, who has to put up with Dave Malone, uh, Maloney far too much. That's a good floodlight you have there, Heber. Who do we fancy to win, chaps? I think the captain should sponsor hot whiskies for all the supporters that came out. Have you worked for the Nazis? Have you anything complimentary to say about anybody here? No, not really. 
This is. Do you want it to be rowdy? This is very interesting. I just, uh, as the camera wasn't there, as the camera wasn't there for the final match of Chuck in the in the in the group of four. Do you want it uh, to be rowdy? Do you? Is there any chance we can have a lasting comment from you, Art, for his contribution to many years of Saturday morning tennis? Well, I I I feel so sorry not playing with Frank and Feather over the last couple of years. It's just something has gone from my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I wonder you're looking so young. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. Mr. President, or former Mr. President, should I say? Yeah, Mr. X. <laughs> have we anything to say? Don't pay any attention to me <laughs> anymore, either. <laughs> okay, we just we just have a quick. <laughs> but my man John here. He wants my man John here. Our ex president wants to know will he get a picked on the league team? That, that's that's right, team. Having right. abandoned due to yeah. arrival of plant. Oh, the league team. Are you listening to Mr. McElroy, Heber? I, I'm trying hard to. Uh, to uh, I'm interrupted with. Our ex president would like to know will he get picked on the league team? Just out and Colin Mobileye saves the set point. Vantage Colum Oak. Big service and it is 5-4 to Cooper. Cooper serving at 30 love, 5-4. First set. And an ace. 40 love, 3 set points. Tight at the moment, but I'm sure he's going to feed you loose shortly. Look at the camera, and there we go. Right, are you coming? Are you fit? Point. Here we go. Are you, you're not wasting the battery, I hope. I've no, no, got the two crucial points for you, right? Here we go. Why? Just go, just go. Controls in the south one there. Oh, Just like to welcome the chairman here this evening, President, Mr. Hazelman. President, apologies. He's been chairman for so many years, it's hard to distinguish between the two. Aidan O'Farrell in the audience. Oh, Christ! <coughs> the inimitable, I think the indubitable I, Brian Fossett. I think I ought to be honest. A big CD, ex-member of Great Potential. <laughs> Nicky Malone, just having won the first set. Making a confident start here. The light, they see the light, Mr. Mark. Yeah, that's right. No, he's on the second serve now. Yeah, second serve. This is that one to set. Set point of base on. Yeah. Good return from Tommy. Yes! And that's the set of base tons. One set to love. 
I don't know. In this class, no. And you're on to serve. from the line there.
Okay, here we go. The tension is reaching unbearable levels here at the moment. Nicky Malone is 5 4 up, second set. That's court number one. Malone is hanging on in there at 6 5 up, one set down on court number two. And the boys are cruising at 4 1 in the second set. Crowd really responding to this exhibition of masterful intents. A better set of here in County Wicklow. Temperatures are high, cloudless sky. LTC camera. We have a camera on every court, bringing you the action as it happens. The camera in every court, and this is it. Is this is. And as I get a tap from my producer on the shoulder here, my producer was telling me to get higher, so here I am. Here we are at the uh, centre of the amazing tennis scenes that we've seen here today, and we have the Greystone team. Connor, could we first ask you your initial reaction to that famous victory, please? I'm absolutely thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. And it was a great bit of judgment, great bit of the team selection. <laughs> We're looking to have talent for our place. Nice for everybody. First Garmon, you seemed to struggle there at the beginning, but you came good in the end. Could you tell us, could you give us your reaction to how you played tonight? Uh, it's a bit slow off the blocks all right, Kieran, but uh, I'm a man of lasting power, you know. Very good. I'll come good in the end. <laughs> Colm if I can come to you for a minute. Uh, obviously your mind was on different things tonight. Uh, uh, you could say that, Mr Davis, indeed, but um, I just felt like the lads were doing it over here. Garb said, go out and enjoy it, and I was uh, break down, second set, got into a tie-break, match point down. So I'm going to stay out here for as long as I can until the boys do. Are you match point down there? Match point down there. When you stopped? No, no, no. He <laughs> double, double faults in a match point down. So. Nicky, if I can come to you now. Uh, a superb victory, it has to be said, over one of the all time greats of Irish tennis. You yeah, must be delighted with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm very pleased. How was the score, Nicky? 6 2, 6 1. Uh, stuffing. Great, yeah, great, great super tennis. And if I leave the final word to Tom, Tom, you must be a little bit cold here tonight, but <laughs> happy nonetheless. Oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's great, it's the highlight of the career. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Tom on the 
Yeah. Well, yeah, well, gentlemen, congratulations. Well done. Yeah. And as you can see, the event has been so highly attended here tonight. Yeah, Adam. Declan Power of Pass, great of Graceland Tennis Club. Gloria O'Connor offering words of wisdom to everybody as usual. It's quite alone there must be happy man. Right up, well, we can do it. <laughs> and Hebrew Farrell, I'm sure he'll take this occasion to maybe have one or two points again. <laughs> Ryan Nugent here. <laughs> All right, Ryan, what have you got to say? Great score the weekend. Uh, it's a very serious fun of the stones. First class one. Uh, <laughs> never had played. 100 years. 100 years. I'm not going to fair play to you. Well done, lads. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, mate. Cheers, Jimmy. Jump your arm off. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Come on, your thoughts on the game, Gary? Across the game, it was a tight match. When I saw the draw, I said, that's 50-50. I was hoping we'd get 60-40. I was hoping we'd get Nicky yeah, and Tom in the uh, singles, and I said, that Moses then could uh, we wouldn't really have to worry, we could lose and we'd be alright, you know. And then when I saw the draw, I said 50-50. Hamo was ever come through. Logie, I said, no, he's gay. <laughs> I saw him going to know what. I was tight. And Newton Nicky, Newton Nicky didn't know what Newton might fucking start. Excuse me. Didn't know what Newton was going to get up to. Gets inside your head, he starts playing with you, you know, and then you're gone. But Nicky Malone, he's too young for all that. <laughs> Have you ever he seen Michael Newton so nice on court? <laughs> he put some Bray Wanderers with an extra How's ball on their football pitch. his own game. <laughs> the various, I mean, is there any rumour that Michael you were actually thinking of signing up Nicky for uh, the uh, hey, baseball team? Hey, 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 I don't believe he's got the back. I believe he's got the deck all right, but he's not too good in the air. Uh, leave that to Garvin. He's actually dead in the air. He's a lot of fun. Man, quick word with Nicky before he goes. Hello, Nick. Quick word with Nicky. Nicholas Malone. Nicholas Malone. One of the winners tonight. You're close of beating one of the foremost internationals that Ireland has ever I'm One of the all-time great players to play in the Greystones tournament, Michael Nugent, was number one of the club, number four in Greystones now. That, that Garvan lad, he's number one of the club. Number four. Logie, what was your own feeling? Would you have won that match in the tight? Yes. If it was one all, would you have won it? I would have won it. You would have won it. Yeah. Had him tiebreak. Had him tiebreak. If you don't mind me saying so, I don't want to be. But you were the only person there who thought you'd win it. What have you got to say to that? I have no, I, I have no concerns what other people think. It's what I believe. It's the spirit within. Okay, over to young Tom. Yes, <laughs> Young Tom. Yeah. What have you got to say? <laughs> was it worth coming all the way back from the stage, especially uh, to play this match? Oh, it was well worth it. This is the highlight of the career here. <laughs> 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 Quite right. Pardon? You know light there, Hebert? Yeah, I'm not sure if I need the light in here, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> final words? You got the light on? Final words, Gavin. That's the final words. Uh, I think it's all as one man. That's and it's backup team. I must Tactical. have to say, where is the bio Connor anyway? Where is the one man? Is that light supposed to be on? Yeah. Well, as we look around the crowd here, we see Chuck Cahill, the man of many talents, <laughs> drinking being one of his main ones. We are here. And we... Chuck, we haven't had enough singing sessions. We were across there, the Vancouver students of your team. They played well, but not well enough. Well played, the lad. Hard luck. Over here, we have um, some very special members of the audience. And Ballygan. We have our, our lady captain. <laughs> supporters over there. Hold on, hold on. You need them light. We have our, our lady captain here. And that looks like uh, a very young uh, O'Connor. <laughs> Would that be Paul by any chance? Yes. Well done, Paul. And Edward Wogan, one of the all-time great answer of the phone. And Edward Lyle, a man, a man very you much known as Quam Bam. Thank you, ma'am. And we're talking tennis there, of course. And over here we have Susan oh, Hayes, a woman who always has a few words for herself. So maybe we have a little interview here, really. <laughs> Susan. I would really like you to. <laughs> so that was very polite coming from you. you. You obviously haven't had enough to drink yet. Not yet, not no. yet. Working on it, working on it. Susan, this is Ryan Newton saying we'll be back to you. Would this be a 
Simon Malone? Where is that? Oh, no, no, that's not Simon Malone. No, that's not like Simon Malone. Who's that chap? That's the very young... Dan Harris is a very young Nicky Malone. It is Malone, isn't it? It is Malone. It is Simon Malone. Right, who? Yes, they are. Well, well, I must say, it beats the breezers. Uh, Shimon, Shimon is as the current ladies captain, we want to know how come the ladies cannot achieve the same height as the men. Excuse me, it takes the men long enough to achieve these heights. The ladies won the Monday morning friendly league. So we've won up on you already. And would that be the class one ladies <laughs> friendly league? <laughs> Section A, I'll have you know. Section A. They don't mention the word section, I keep on thinking my wife. <laughs> Pain already. <laughs> Go away, Hubert. Okay, well, Mrs. Josephine O'Connor, here Mr. you Hebert. are. It's very nice. Bright light, Hebert. It's very nice to see you on, on, on a very, uh, very, nice very, very famous night for the club. And you, oh, Joe, can we ask you a question? Yes, you may when ask me a question. When was the first time you said for the Congressional Senate? Did I find In the present premises? Sure. No, you know, in the, the in no. your very first time in the club. No matter which premises you were in, the club goes. 1965, we were I admitted. 1965. Yes. How uh, many years ago was that? Very, very many. Yes. And here we are in the year 2020. <laughs> And many people are saying, doesn't she look very young for that? <laughs> Thank you, No, we're back. We're back in business. Major O'Farrell. You need to get that out of your I'm very impressed with Gravel. They've shaken all that into the other. One of the sounds you're in the fame barrier for the club to win. It's first title in 100 years. Brand new stuff, man. That is a horse. That is a horse. I think it's better show that as a bird. Excuse me, here we are here in Tanikyo, we presentation of prizes. Mary Butler, one of the most beautiful looking chairpersons of the Vendee Club. Laura, will you go and tickle them or something? Hey, hey, can we say, is this a momentous night for North Wicklow? No, she's going to tickle them or do something, will you? Hey, a momentous night for North Wicklow. She's a date. Well, that's good enough for me, Mary. We'll be back to you. Something to say about this. Uh, Dan Murray, uh, <laughs> 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 makes a change from senior naval. <laughs>